Can you show me in the Bible the LDS teaching that we must all stand before Joseph Smith on Judgment Day? Question 8. Can you show me in the Bible that we must stand before Joseph Smith on Judgment Day? Now, there's no reference given here, but I am familiar with the idea and the quote from which it is taken. That quote was found in Journal of Discourses, Volume 7, page 289. This is the relevant portion of that quote. No man or woman in this dispensation will ever enter into the celestial kingdom without the consent of Joseph Smith. From the day that the priesthood was taken from the earth to the winding up scene of all things, every man and woman must have the certificate of Joseph Smith Jr. as a passport to their entrance into the mansion where God and Christ are. He reigns as supreme a being in his sphere, capacity, and calling as God does in heaven. Okay. Now, before we address this directly, we must understand that all of us will be judged not only by what we do, by what we say, and also by what we believe. We will be judged according to how well we receive the truth that God provided for us during our life. So that if we reject the truth revealed from God, we will be judged for rejecting it. It doesn't matter what the source of that truth is. Now when we go to stand before the bar of judgment, Christ is the judge, and as the scriptures say, he employs no servant. But, as Brigham Young says, he does call witnesses. For instance, we read in Moroni, chapter 10, verse 27, says, And I exhort you to remember these things, for the time speedily cometh, that ye shall know that I lie not, for ye shall see me at the bar of God. And the Lord God will say unto you, Did I not declare my words unto you which were written by this man, like as one crying from the dead, yea, even as one speaking out of the dust? And again we read in Second Nephi, chapter 33, verse 11, And if they are not the words of Christ, judge ye, for Christ will show unto you with power and great glory that they are his words at the last day. And you and I shall stand face to face before his bar, and ye shall know that I have been commanded of him to write these things, notwithstanding my weakness. So when we stand to be judged of God at the final day, all the prophets who have ever spoken and delivered the message of Christ that, was avail <coughs> that were available while we were on the earth will be called forth as witnesses. And we will be called to account for how faithfully we followed their words and their counsel. Joseph Smith stands as the head of this last dispensation. He has produced a large collection of scripture. He is a prophet of God. And in his sphere, as the head of this dispensation, he will be one of those witnesses. He will be a primary witness in that judgment process. So that when we stand at the bar of God to be judged, just as Nephi said, Nephi and Moroni both say they will, they will see us there. We will see them in the same manner. Joseph Smith will be there. And God will ask what we did with the truth that Joseph Smith delivered to us. And thus, Joseph Smith must give his consent. He must say that we were faithful in following his words that Christ delivered through him. In this sense, we will stand before Joseph Smith at the judgment. But he is not the judge. 
He is a witness either for or against us, depending on how we have treated the words that Christ gave us through him. Now the question asks if this can be shown in the Bible. Now Joseph Smith is not named in the Bible, so no, it cannot be shown directly in the Bible, but the principle of prophets judging us or standing as witnesses against us is in the Bible. We read in Matthew chapter 19, verse 28, And Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the, in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And then again, in Luke chapter 22, verse 30, speaking to the twelve again, he says, that ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and sit on thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. So the idea of prophets being judges or witnesses against us at the final judgment is directly stated in the Bible. 